Right, okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at five of the hardest plans and elevations questions that's come across on the GCSEs. Now these are foundation and higher questions, uh, but they tend to be ones that people tend to get quite wrong, or people just seem to you know, get it absolutely fine, okay? So it's quite a difficult one to actually do on a screen here, because it's almost that you've got to be able to visualise this shape, and some people really struggle with actually being able to visualise them, okay? So you might actually... Uh, quite struggle with these or you might actually just look at them and think they're quite simple okay but um just depends on how well you are how good you are at sort of visualizing these types of shapes so little things you can do is just to sort of you know if you have any sort of little odd shapes in your house um you can always practice doing it with just little things and what they look like from above what they look like from the side what they look like from the front and sort of drawing them as a 2d image on, an, on a piece of paper okay but we're gonna have a look at some of the hardest ones uh here and i'll again i'll link the worksheet for this in the description so that you can print these off and have a go uh, but uh, let's have a look at some of these and have a think about how we might approach them so this first one here and again these are in no particular order of difficulty uh, but here's the first one it says here's a square base pyramid and it wants us to draw an accurate front elevation from the direction of the arrow so the three types of elevations we look at one's from the front one's from the side and to be honest if we twist it round, either either could be the front and the side it just depends on how the diagram labels it so here it says the front is going that way and it says the little arrow just down here so facing that way the front of the pyramid okay and that uh, we could also have a look at the plan which is like a bird's eye view looking at it from above uh, again and what we're going to draw is the 2d image of what we would see and obviously in real life we have a little bit of depth perception so we can see if like elements are a little bit further away or whether they're closer to us but in terms of taking an actual photograph of it from the front um, you can't really tell the actual depth or how far back it goes or how far forward it comes uh, at the base and stuff like that so we're going to think about what we can actually see here from the front and what we can actually see is a triangular face okay and if we imagine that we were standing over here there we go this is us standing facing the pyramid uh, we would actually just see this triangular face as long as we were smack bang in the center there and we couldn't see any of the other edges i'll try and color it in as best as i can there we go so that's what we're going to draw there now obviously we will see the six centimeters along the bottom so i can draw the base in that's going to be one two three four five six and I just need to get the remainder of the triangle correct there. Now, we wouldn't see the five over here. We wouldn't see the height as being five because that's slanted. The actual height that's given to us in this particular question is the four centimetres, and that's how high the pyramid is. Now, that four centimetres there on a square base pyramid is going right down to the centre of the square, so it's smack bang in the middle. So in the middle of the base is here. So we want to find where that tip of the um, pyramid is, four centimetres above the centre of the base there. So if I go up four centimetres, so one two, three, four, that gets me to here. Okay, so we're having a look at that as being the center of our pyramids. Let's get rid of those. And then we all, need, all we need to do is just connect that up. There we go, and that's what we would see. And that's our triangular face uh, from the front there. Again, if it had a mass from the side, you can imagine, if it did imagine from this side, it would look exactly the same. It's the same triangle there with a height of four and a base of six, as it's a square base pyramid. But there we are, that is how we go about drawing one of these front elevations here. Okay, uh, we could also be asked to draw the plan and that would just, just be a square. Okay, if we were to draw a square, we'd have a side length of six. And obviously you might want to draw those lines in as well. In fact, drawing the uh, plan wouldn't be very nice. I won't draw it accurately, but it'd be a square like this and we'd see these sort of four lines of the pyramid crossing over. Okay, so obviously it doesn't ask us to draw that, but just thinking about another question it could ask us to draw here. And that's what it'd look like, obviously making sure the side length is six centimeters there. But there we go, we didn't need to do that. We just need to get the front elevation. So that's our first question. Let's have a look at our next one. Right, okay, so here we go. We've got a uh, prism here with a trapezium as its face, okay, as its front face anyway. And it says here, the diagram shows a prism with a cross section in the shape of a trapezium. On the centimetre grid, draw the front elevation and the side elevation of the prism and use a scale of two centimetres to one metre. So if you have a look at obviously the dimensions here, we've got metres in terms of our dimensions. Okay, and we need to convert those back into centimetres to, in order to draw them on our grid. Now, first of all, it says the front and it says the side. So if we have a look at the front to start with and the front elevation, let's get rid of all that. The front elevation is down here, okay, looking at it from here. So if we're looking at it from the front there, again, imagine that we're standing there. We don't have any sort of depth perception. We're standing right perfectly in front of it. Um, we are just going to see this flat trapezium face here. There we go, that yellow one that I'm colouring in. So I just need to be able to draw that shape there in 2D on the grid. Now obviously it says two centimetres is one metre. So we've got a height of two metres there, so that's going to be four centimetres. And again, you can label that on here. Every one metre is two centimetres, so that'll be four centimetres. So I'm going to draw this on the left, 
one, two, three, four. There we go, as it's a centimetre grid, each square is one centimetre. Then we've got four centimetres along the bottom as well, because that is also two metres there. So I'll go another four across. There we go. We've got half a metre there. So half a metre, it's two centimetres is one metre, so that's just going to be half, uh, one centimetre. So we have one centimetre going up. There's that bit. And then we're just going to connect them up. And there we go. And that is our front elevation. Let's just label that the front. There we go. Now we also need to draw the side elevation. Now thinking about the logic here as well, uh, obviously the side elevation's over here, so let's do this in a different colour. And now I'm going to be standing over here looking at this rectangle, and obviously, I've got the arm sticking out of his head there, there we go, there we are. Right, okay, so um, we're standing having a look at this, I'm going to highlight this in a different colour. So now when we're, standing, when we're standing there, we're going to see this rectangle, okay, we're definitely going to see this rectangle, uh, and we're also going to see over and above that, this slant here, okay. Now we're not going to see it as a slanted shape, we're just going to see it as part of the rectangle. Now the height of the shape is not going to change there just because it's got a slant. So we already know, just thinking about the logics here, that the height of the shape can only be as high as from the front. Okay, so I've just obviously matched the heights there without even doing the uh, measurement there. Okay, we know it's two meters high, so that's four centimeters again. And it's not going to be any higher no matter which side we go. Okay, so it's going to be the same height. And we just need to get the width okay, so one meter there. So that's going to be two centimeters along. So we know it's going to be two centimetres along, and it's just going to be one big rectangle, so we can join all that up. And that's basically what it's going to look like, okay? But there is one other element that we need to add here, and that's the fact that there is a change in sort of slope there, uh, shown by this line. And we're going to show that little line there, so that's half a metre up. Again, that's one centimetre up, and that's going to be a little line here. And again, if you have a look, it's in line with that little kink there in the, in the front elevation. So there we go, that's our side elevation. There we are. And that's that done, both of them being the same height, obviously. We've got to think about logic here. The shape isn't going to be uh, taller or shorter from a different angle. It's just that we're going to see it in a slightly different way. So obviously this particular face, and if I get rid of some of that, that green face there is sort of the strangest because this one here, look, it looks a lot smaller than on the diagram. But we obviously, as a 2D shape, don't have any um, perception of the depth of that and how far back it goes. We just see it as uh, an actual rectangle there. Okay, but there we go. That is our um, front and side elevation for this one. A bit of a strange one. You have to think about the scale as well there, so that made it a little bit nastier as well. But obviously just try and think about a bit of logic there in terms of the matching them up with the uh, front elevation, which was a lot easier to draw, but just making sure it was the same height and it had that same uh, little notch there at the um, half a metre up uh, point. There we go, let's have a look at our next one. Right, okay, so something slightly different again. We've got the front elevation uh, and plan of a solid are shown on the grid. And on the grid, draw the side elevation from the direction of the arrow. Okay, so we're looking at it from the front there. And again, thinking about the front elevation, we're looking at it from this angle here. Now again, thinking about the logics of the last question, it doesn't matter how wide it is for the moment, but the height of that from the front is going to be about is going to be exactly the same height as it is over here okay the height isn't going to change so we can draw that in from base to the base to the top there as being the same height now looking at the plan we can see from the plan that it's only two squares wide so from the front we're only going to see two squares across there we go and that's the shape we're going to see a rectangle that looks very similar to the last one but there are a few little kinks here where the uh, sort of depth of the shape changes uh, primarily and let's just get rid of some of these we've got that one down the bottom okay so we want to make sure that that matches up as well so we've got that one there that's going to be in there and we've got this one here that's going to go in there and there we go that's what it's going to look like Okay, it's almost like a little set of stairs. It'd be quite difficult to actually draw this, um, but imagining what it kind of looks like, I'll do my best. As I think it will go something like that. It's like a little set of staircases. I probably shouldn't have started drawing this because it's not going to look very good. Uh, but here we go. I'll try my best. It's going to look something like that. There you go, like a little set of steps, okay? And as you can see, this little step here is slightly uh, higher up than the two below it, okay? As you can see from the diagram there, it's two squares up for that one rather than just one square up. So that's the shape that we're actually drawing. And obviously, if I sort of color code this, look, we've got this face here that we're seeing as this one down the bottom. We've got the next one up, this face here that we're seeing here. And then we've got our final face, okay? In fact, let's do that in a different color. We've got the final face there that we're seeing as this part here. 
Okay, so it does obviously help if you can kind of visualize it as a 3D shape, although it's not the easiest to do. Um, but there you go, that's how you go about drawing this one. Okay, so there we go, that's that one, drawing our, uh, what elevation were we drawing? We were drawing a side elevation, there we go. So that was how we draw our side elevation using our other elevations. And it can help to be able to draw that 3D shape before you actually go about drawing the elevation, okay? But if not, you can always think about the logic I just used there, making, it, making sure it was the same height, making sure it had the same width as the plan. And obviously just matching in, in any of those uh, little changes of depth there uh, with those lines and indicating those. But there we go. Oh dear, got rid of that in right in the last step. There we go, put that back in. There we are, so let's have a look at our next question. Right, okay, so in this question we've actually gonna we're actually gonna have to draw the three D shape, okay? So we need to have a think about what this is actually gonna look like. So it says the diagram shows the plan, the front, and the side elevation of a solid shape drawn on a centimetre grid. It says draw a sketch of the solid shape and give the dimensions of your solid on your shape. Dimensions of the solid on your shape, okay? So just be careful with that, because obviously giving the dimensions means we've got to put the lengths on. So we've got to put how many centimetres wide or high or whatever it is. Now looking at this, look from above, it's a circle. And then from the front and from the side, it's a rectangle. And there is only one shape, and this is just about knowing your shapes really. There's only one shape that's a circle from the top and a rectangle from the side, and that is a cylinder. Okay, obviously when we draw a sketch of that, we don't see it as a circle, as a sketch. It kind of looks a bit like an, like an oval sort of shape. But then we have the bit coming down. I'm not drawing that very well. Let's draw that line in again. There we are, and a slightly bit of a curved base there, and you could even put the sort of uh, dotted base at the back that we can't see. But there we are, that's a cylinder, and if you can imagine looking from above, you would see that circle. But from the side there, if we sort of dropped our heads down and, and we were standing in front of it, we wouldn't see that circle on the top, we'd just see the big rectangle there from the front, the side, the back, the left, whatever side you stand on, you would see the, uh, that, that rectangle. So finishing this off, obviously we've drawn a little sketch of it, we've just got to add in the dimensions. There's two dimensions we want to add. One is the width all the way across here. And if we have a look, that goes across four centimeters. It's on a centimeter grid. So that's going to be four centimeters there. And then we also want to draw the height in. And let's have a look at this rectangle over here. It was one, two, three, four, five. There you are, it goes five centimetres up. So we'll also add that in as well. And that is five centimetres. Right, there we go. Uh, that, well, that's how you draw one of these, obviously from a sketch. It does, it does actually mean that you've got to know your shapes quite well. You can imagine there's probably a couple of other shapes that you could have, thinking about like a cone. Obviously the front and the side of a cone wouldn't be a rectangle, but we'd have a sort of, there we go, this sort of shape from the front and the side if it was a cone. Okay, you'd still have a circle from the top. You might actually have a point in the middle if it was a cone, because you'd see that little tip of the cone as well. But there's just another kind of shape that you can imagine looking above being a circle, could also have a little cone uh, as well. But there we are, that's how we go about drawing one of those, and obviously just making sure you read the question carefully. Obviously when it says give the dimensions, you need to make sure that you actually add those on from the grid as well. But there we go, let's have a look at our last question. Okay, so on to our last question. We've got through these quite quickly. It says here, the diagram shows the plan front elevation and side elevation of a solid prism drawn on a centimetre grid. Draw a sketch of the solid prism, give the dimensions of your prism on, uh, give the dimensions of the prism on your sketch. Now this isn't the nicest of ones to draw, it's actually quite similar to one that I drew earlier. Now you can see from the front, okay, which you can also sometimes imagine as the side, it sort of has this like uh, look as if it's almost like a little step. Okay, it's obviously not a full set of stairs, but like a little step. So from the front there, we could sort of draw this in. There we go, obviously it does require you being able to draw for this, which is, there we go, not the easiest, but there we go, that from the front, we've got this sort of shape going along like this, there we are. Hmm. Let's have a, have a go. I'm trying to draw this as best as I can. There we go. There we are. We've got this sort of shape going on, okay? Sort of like a little step. Now, obviously, uh, that matches on the plan as well, okay? Just check this out. You've got the face there and the face here. And on the left there, you've got the green face. That's three along there and the green face here. There we are, so we can see those. Hopefully, obviously, you can already see uh, Obviously this face here is matching this one here. And then you've also got the side, and I'll try and draw this in. You've got this one down here from the side, which matches this face here. And we've got one more. I'm gonna run out of colors though. What have we got? Oh, not very nice colors there, let's go with blue. Right, okay, so you've got this one here that matches that one there. There we go. And that is how we're going to draw this little sketch of this prism. Okay, obviously it does say we need to add the dimensions on as well, so we just want to have a little look. So along the front here, that goes along five. So I want to put five centimetres along here. And it goes up by four. There we go, so we'll put that on the side there as well, four centimetres. 
uh, along the pink face there we've got three along so that's going to be three centimeters and we've got a few other dimensions that we could add on us here we've got this one here which is two going up and this one here which is also two so we'll put that on as well so two centimeters there Let's just get rid of that bit if I can there we go two centimeters there and also we have two centimeters up there is there any more that we wanted to we could we could add on we could probably add on these ones as well we've got three there which is up here three centimeters and we've also got it's hard to draw in now but that one there which is two centimeters so that's two centimeters there as well there we are that's, that's that is literally every single dimension we could put on there um onto that particular prism so just sort of filling it with all of the different dimensions that we could possibly put on that diagram but there we go that is how we go about drawing that one uh, hopefully that helps a little bit with the colors being added on obviously it does require you just to be able to think about these uh, shapes uh, and being able to draw a little 3d sketch so some of them are quite nasty this one in particular is not the nicest to be uh, to actually be drawing but obviously you just got to try and draw it as best as you can and that's why it does say in the question draw a sketch okay so obviously using a pencil and a ruler if possible but just trying to draw it as best as you can okay and not stressing too much if your diagram doesn't look absolutely perfect okay so just as best as you can that's what sketches but there we go that is some plans and elevations and all different types of questions that you could have hopefully that was helpful and useful if it was please like please comment please subscribe and i'll see you for the next one